Hi everyone, welcome to Sacral Travel Channel uh, to San Diego in California. Uh, so, um, what's happening now? Let's talk about um, that. Uh, f um, I would like to share my intuition. Um, the aliens have um, put um, this new uh, strain of uh, uh, virus um, uh, into the world and uh, now we are where we are, right? You guys um, watching this um, all know. Um, why did the aliens do, do this? Um, if they wanted to destroy uh, us and the whole planet, you know, they would not put out there something that has um, I mean, according to, I guess, what, depending on what you read, I don't know, 3% mortality rate or less than 1% or, I don't know, 4%, um, um, you know, they would just use something, you know, brutal, right? Just go ahead and destroy. So that's definitely not the reason to destroy all of us. Um, it's uh, meant for us to um, withdraw um, into, into our homes, um, into nature, and above all into ourselves um, and um, we are supposed to as humanity um, raise to the next level uh, to the higher level of consciousness um, where we um, hi um, where we um, become you know, better uh, human beings in the sense that we um, are more connected, um, each and every one of us, to our intuition, um, where we're more connected, uh, where we realize that we're all connected as humans uh, with each other, you know. Um, there's no real separation between uh, between us, uh, these boundaries, borders, um, you know, the otherness, it's imaginary. Um, of course, this situation is going to test this. Um, there is a lot of people trying to help, uh, different charities, um, you know, watching out uh, for older people, for people that are right now suffering and so much suffering is going to happen, of course, also in terms of financial situation. Um, and then, you know, as I'm sure some of you uh, read the news, you know, uh, some people trying to profit from this, like um, I just briefly read in the news how uh, some of the uh, US senators uh, sold, you know, the stocks uh, on the stock exchange just before the stock uh, crashed so clearly, uh, you know, they had, I guess, some inside view of when the news would be released about the coronavirus in the US. Um, so there's both profiteering and, you know, generosity in humanity, and that's how it's always been, right? Um, but this is about us all. Uh, realizing that we can be generous and um, yeah and just uh, connected to ourselves that we can find peace from fear um, one uh, thing that we're all or most of us are suffering from or that's been triggered in us is fear um, it may be different strains of fear um, pun intended uh, but right now we're all in fear um, this whole situation is triggering fear uh, whether it's fear of health um, whether it's fear of um, you know dying fear of losing family fear of uh, losing job uh, losing money um, it's all sorts of fears that are right now being really really triggered uh, whatever we had not resolved uh, before this situation um, happened, um, you know, whatever unresolved fears, unresolved worries and triggers we had in our life, now, um, you know, in this, you know, we, we, they're definitely coming back to haunt us in all their, you know, strength. Um, some people are, um, you know, becoming fearful because, um, you know, um, 
now they're stuck at home with their kids and they're like how am I gonna survive these coming weeks or you know um, with my family with my kids at home it's gonna be crazy other people are getting um, you know fearful of um, the loneliness that they have to deal with maybe they don't have a family they don't have a partner how am I going to get through this alone or you know you know there's fear in, in everyone um, same for me same for my husband um, I'll just briefly mention my husband he's kind of I think more um, you know it's his place to talk about that but in him the fear of um, not uh, you know losing money um, and um, you know not uh, having finances to provide for his family is uh, coming up very strongly um, and in me it's uh, the fear of um, losing or being like being separated from my child because I actually a few days ago or like a week ago I um, got a fever like over 30 like suddenly out of the blue in the evening I started getting body aches and a fever and that came after a whole uh, day of reading all the news about you know uh, coronavirus and um, in the evening suddenly body aches started coming up and um, and then I just I was like I'm not feeling well it's really weird I don't really go anywhere you know um, you know we just went to eat at like at a restaurant once and then like it's weird and then I started panicking like crazy and then you know I measured fever I had like over 39 degrees um, and I was freaking out and I was telling my husband like you really have to take this like super seriously like this is like insane what's happening you know I have fever 39 and I have some cough you know it's just like some cough it wasn't like that pretty much just like a regular you know like cold I guess symptom or flu symptom but that night I like freaked out I ate a bunch of lemon uh, and uh, onion which I or, or garlic which I recommend to all of you by the way either way like always this is just great uh, to eat that stuff um, and then the next day I woke up and I was still feeling iffy uh, but it was better and then the third day I was fine so like I'm fine now um, but what I realized that night was it's like a message that I received uh, you know like my intuition gave me uh, it was the message disconnect from the news just stop watching uh, or reading these news about the virus and about the pandemic because I turned me absolutely psychotic I lashed out at my husband it got I'm actually became like physically violent where I started um, like you know um, kicking him uh, I literally like kicked him uh, and, or like pushed him and was like you're like not taking this seriously you know um, uh, you're like you know not uh, you know you're just like, like this is like super serious like, I literally became so fearful and so and then when I actually was having the fever I realized that you know my my fear that my fear was that I will um, if I get sick um, you know I'll you know what if I have to go to a hospital I'm a breastfeeding mother of a six month old um, I'll be separated from him or uh, what if he gets sick and then you know uh, like they separate us in the hospital what's gonna happen like that's like pain comes up for me uh, or the fear of like my child being lonely and separated from me or me being lonely separated from my child like that's the fear that comes up in me so you know there's just so many different types of um, you know um, these unresolved you know fears in us and I'm not saying they're um, like I want to honor them I'm not making fun of them I'm not saying there's no basis for them just like for my husband um, there's a basis for him to have this you know this fear and this uh, you know strong unease I mean we um, just like probably you know a lot of people um, are in the same boat we invested uh, money at the height of the market in in stocks uh, because the economy was like doing great in California we're like oh this is amazing we're gonna invest our savings you know this is gonna help our family and then it crashed and we lost um, I mean it's just like crazy like the amount of money that we ended up losing I mean for you know obviously for every family what is a lot or little you know it just depends on your financial situation but in our view for our financial situation it was a lot of money um, so certainly my husband is um, you know has a, you know a 
like a good basis you know there's a lot of people now hurting and uh, you know my heart goes out to everyone who has or you know will be you know laid off because obviously this will be at least a recession um, if not a depression so again you know there's definitely a reason or you know but these are um, as as much as life is difficult and we have to obviously provide financially and we want to be close with our family and we want to be healthy and these are all valid reasons um, this is an invitation for us um, from um, the uh, beings outside of our earth that are more evolved than us that want to help us invitation for us to really face um, whatever demons we are struggling with as um, individuals and as society we're so busy every day in the daily grind that we try to um, just you know bury them uh, you know all these fears that we're trying to um, just kind of um, you know just trying to kind of ignore them trying to go on with our life we um, there's definitely individuals in our society and there have always been extraordinary individuals um, that have um, realized um, that it's important to find this this peace to really strive for this peace to uh, have respect for earth um, to watch out for those that are less fortunate than us um, but it's lacking in uh, society in general um, and I think that's why um, the aliens are you know asking us to um, or like encouraging us to um, you know to um, just kind of like take these coming weeks to go within ourselves uh, going back into our homes or into nature and to really um, um, to learn new lessons so that when this ends um, rather than you know again being lost in uh, the daily grind we come out of this with a new appreciation for everything with a new appreciation for um, our families and community and for our own consciousness um, my blessings to you all guys um, and much love to all of you Thank you for watching.